This is Chuck. He's one of my friends that works with me at the Y, and he is what you would call a super butt-kicking MMA space wizard. See, Chuck loves working out. He loves lifting weights, doing MMA, doing boxing, doing Zumba. But the two things he loves more than all of those things is comic books and Star Wars. So naturally, when Chuck approached us about building a whole crowd on our channel, we said yes. But we want to make it special, and one way we thought we could do that was by incorporating this little doohickey. A magnetic levitation and rotation. Display. So the way this thing is supposed to work is that there's going to be this little pedestal and it's going to float above this electromagnetic uh, base, apparently. But I'm a little skeptical on how it's going to work. It, I, I hope it's not cheap. I tried to find a good one for the cheapest money I could buy. Oh, so this must be the pedestal. That's kind of interesting. It's actually kind of what I envisioned it for once. Power adapter. This must be what makes it run. Wait. Okay, yeah, I thought it was missing a foot. I was like, oh, come on! Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Oh, look at that. Dad's home. Yeah! You said it seems... But yeah, we're unbo I'm unboxing the magnetic thing right now. What the heck is this? I don't know what that's for. Maybe I will need the instructions, sadly. Let me plug it in here really quick. Oh my gosh, whoa. <laughs> that is, it is strong, but I'm confused. It looks like I set this thing here. Oh yeah, there's like a tiny mat. Oh, there's a hole, okay. That sits in there, and this goes like this. Confused, it wants to, uh, eh. maybe it goes like this. Ah! Okay, yeah, that, that, that's not right. doing this right oh my gosh are you kidding me so I had the power turned off and then I didn't have the power stripped on but, but, but whatever regard there that's what it's supposed to look like oh 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 it's flickering no <laughs> oh! <laughs> look at that look at, look at. Oh! oh it spins we're coming for you, Chuck. Normally, this would be pretty easy for us to build. It's just a blue little box. I've got a picture. It's just a blue little box like that, okay? However, in the Star Wars franchise, these holocrons are supposed to open up, and there's something that's supposed to be inside. So the way they open up is very complicated. It's like this. Okay, see all those corner pieces? You're being loud. So you see these triangular pieces on the corners there, those are supposed to rotate out. Now, that's going to be pretty tough to build without a 3D printer. The other thing we have to keep in mind is that this magnetic levitation device has a weight limit on it. We don't know what that weight is, but we're, whatever we're going to have, yeah. whatever we build needs to be under this weight limit so that when it sits on here, this thing isn't just touching the floor. So I think we need to discuss what materials we're going to use for this because well, they need to be light enough to be able to support that. So. All right. No. Here. So, can we do it? No. Want the master to do it? Oh. Right. We're going to be here till midnight watching you try to do this. Well, let me have one more try. Oh my god. That's it. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's watch you not do it too. <laughs> okay. Set the timer, guys. Let's see if he does it. You. <laughs> you suck. Bam. You suck. Okay. Okay. So now we need to find the weight, the weight limit of this thing. Oh, see if you can set that on there without it. That's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> let's see how if we can put another board. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's still floating. Well, that's all we want. Yeah. So that it'll move around like that. Okay. Good. So Andy bought some plastic. And it's actually blue. Yeah, you can kind of see the tint here. Because the holocrons in the movies or the animated show what did you do are actually build? blue. Maybe what we should do is build the square box out of that. Out of the out of, plexiglass? Out, out of the plexiglass. And then those, those pieces, then we can build the box off of that. That's a good idea, but how are we going to build a box out of this? How are we going to attach sides to each other? 
hot glue. So we're making the cube out of this first and then yeah, we'll attach that, our yeah. wood around the outside. Right. Well, so then we're going to have to make, cut some plastic pieces that, to cover that. Okay, I got about 75% of that. I spaced for like right. a minute. So we're going to start with building our plastic box. All right, that montage was kind of dry. Can we get some more Star Wars-y background music? Wait, 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 wait. We can't use that one, that's copyrighted. Let's try this one instead. I suggest a new strategy. Only different in your mind. Let's well, the, the cube from oh, the yeah. You're right. Yeah, it looks like the tesseract. The tesseract. Pretty. We're going to untrap the tesseract inside. <laughs> That's not how it the works. Holocron. That's not how it works. <laughs> it's going to be all powerful. Okay. We still got some room to play with. Oh, yeah. Like an inch. So, do we go with this wood? Well, based on how much room was left between this, we gotta go with our lightest stuff. Now, these corner pieces that we're gonna be using the sides of our holocron here are from our puzzle pyramid. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out after this one. All right, so that was one. Now we gotta do five more. Um, I gotta make a stand for this. So that you can keep the angle the same? Yeah, and then all I have to do... It's just set it in there on yeah. each corner, and yeah. then just... Yeah. So we gotta make a special jig for it. Yes. Another question I have is, is that thing even, even gonna stay together when we throw it through the bandsaw? I mean... Yeah, I think it will. I mean, it's only held together by hot glue. Well, if it I doesn't, mean, then it, it doesn't, so... Okay. All right, so we kind of fast forwarded here, guys. Uh, you saw the gaps that were in between all these little lattices and everything. Dad plugged all of it up with some wood putty, and then he threw it on the sander. So we'll have to repaint some of it, but he sealed off all those gaps really nicely. Good job, Pops. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. I want you to take one good last look at this thing, because I don't think it's going to survive the next 10 minutes. <laughs> so what's your plan of attack for this thing? And how to get these cutting angles right. I know we talked about it before, but what is it? Or what's your new plan? Because it seems like you're doing something different. So you're going to cut wedges into there? So are you gonna do I this? just want to see if this works before I try doing any more. So come over here with the pencil. All right, so in case you guys don't know what we're doing right now, we're tracing out some more blue plexiglass to fill in these holes right here. We're gonna have to do each one of these individually, which kind of sucks, but we don't want these things spinning and then you've seen this big gaping hole in the side of the box. Holocron, whatever it is. 
So we're going to do a test run to see if it works, and if it does, great, because then we can just rinse and repeat. If not, it's back to the drawing board. No, I don't think that rubber will work. It looks good. So my only question is though, over time, because the threads are in the rubber, won't it twist out eventually? I don't like how, how wobbly it is, but the only thing I could think of doing is I have that liquid steel stuff. That's what I was thinking, the steel stick. Water weld. Yeah, water weld. I thought it was called steel sticks, or is that a yeah, different brand? Yeah, there's another brand out there like that. All right, so that technically worked. So I guess we're gonna stick with it. It's time for these little guys to multiply. It is time to try it. Yes, yes. Yes. Forget it. All right, so there are some oversights that we really didn't see coming in the long run, guys. First off, this thing is too big, okay? We know we showed it floating on a hovering pedestal at first, but that was before we added any of the wood or glue or, like, putty to it. And so, obviously, as you just saw, it does not rest on the pedestal correctly. Also, that putty idea of us screwing into the liquid steel kind of stuff didn't work. These are on there, they twist, but they're like, I don't know if you can see that movement, but they're like on the verge of popping off. So as much as it pains me to say this, we're gonna have to make a new one, but smaller. However, since we don't have a lot of time to make one, I think we're gonna cheat a little bit. Now, I would not personally recommend using this item for any other projects that you have at home. It's kind of a cheat, I know, but we're gonna use it just this once. All right, here we go. Complete. So as you guys can see, we've pretty much made just a smaller version of this one. There were a couple things that we had to change. Obviously size was one of them. But let me point out the other things that we had to change to get this to work. So one of the first things you guys probably noticed about our second holocron is that we left one of the sides barren or we didn't glue on a little circle because we need to leave room for our floating platform. This is one of the problems we had with our first holocron. We didn't leave a flat surface on the bottom of our box so that the platform wouldn't slide around and fall off. The two other things we decided to do differently was go with bolts rather than screws on our corner pieces and glue on all the little edge pieces of wood individually rather than all together and cutting off all the corner pieces at once. Now we could have gone with the same design choices that we went with in our first box, but like I mentioned earlier, we were kind of running out of time when we realized that the box just wasn't going to work on the floating platform. So in the end, this is the design we ended up going with for our final holocron. We sure hope Chuck likes it. Okay, so this morning I had to come in and open up the Y, but later on today, Chuck is going to be teaching me and another kid some boxing. So hopefully then I can give him his two holocrons. Okay, Chuck and me are going to be boxing soon. So I'm going to try to help Christ. I think he knows it's coming today. Let's go do it. So this is something I wanted to show you. This is probably the coolest part of what I'm going to show you. If I can get it to work. This was our first go, and you're welcome to keep it, and you're also welcome to drop kick it. <laughs> this is what we tried to make the first time. 
Oh, no. <laughs> that, that's, that was what we tried to make the fire. You are welcome to drop kick it because there's another corner in here. Here, you can. I was going to say, so <laughs> the expert inside of me is quoting out how there is a severe lack of a corner in this section of the helicron. I actually like the design more of this one where unfortunately we couldn't turn it into a puzzle because we are not miracle workers and we did not have three to four months to um, work something into it. We took some shortcuts on the second one because we wanted it to float. That one does not this actually... One. This one doesn't it, float. No. This can be the one you can Ooh. sit and watch and the, the, the corners won't come off unless you like force them. <laughs> <laughs> Go back the other way. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times it did that to me and scared me. <laughs> so you gotta get it right in the center. Gingerly. Second try! <laughs> Woo! That's actually really freaking cool. Uh, we're sorry we couldn't turn it into something fancier. What do you mean? This is fantastic! I, I mean, we're glad you're happy with it. This is absolutely Maybe fantastic. we'll redo it one day and we'll make you like one with an actual puzzle in it. When we have, <laughs> when we have several months to work on it or something like that. Maybe one day down Maybe the Maybe one day. If so. we'd still like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You can do whatever you want with it. It's a holocron inside of a holocron. There you go. <laughs>